Hey, how's it going? It's April 27th, 2022. This is your Daily Sweet Talk. Going into today's topic, blind. Let's see. What, uh, superhero casting. Oh, God, why did I go into this one blind? I don't remember why I wrote this down as a topic. I was trying to think about this the other day. Why did I write it down? Uh, <laughs> which is a great way to start one of these. Um... Oh, it's so, so okay. It's it's. I, I guess the main thing I was thinking about is it's it's mostly like the same bunch of actors that get cast in superhero things, and yeah, I don't know where I don't know where I was going with this, but okay, like we got. Um, I guess The Rock has only been in that upcoming one he hasn't really been anything else but no no that's not true because he's also voicing superman's dog that kind of counts um in the in another dc thing we have uh uh zoe kravitz plays catwoman in the batman and she already played catwoman in the lego batman movie i'm pretty sure those two casting decisions were completely unrelated maybe um Oscar Isaac has been um, Moon Knight and Apocalypse, Chris Evans, uh, Captain America, and um, the Human Torch. Michael B. Jordan was the Human Torch, and he was also a Killmonger. These actors that are in superhero movies, they keep coming back for superhero movies. Maybe it's because these are the actors that will accept these kind of roles. I'm honestly surprised Oscar Isaac came back for another role like this after having been in the Star Wars movies um, and how that turned out. Um, uh, people often cite, like, well, they pay a lot. But, you know, I mean, I don't think Oscar Isaac really would have to do Moon Knight to, like, fund whatever. I'm pretty sure he could get other big roles that would pay a lot. I don't know. I don't know what, I mean, I, I assume he's just, he, there's something about the project that he likes. Um, even though Moon Knight so far just seems kind of <laughs> mid, as they say, um, in my opinion, it's not always these type of actors. Like Paul Rudd was a surprise choice for Ant Man. I guess maybe for something like that, you kind of have to go out there like that. It would, I mean, like with Chris Pratt as. Um, Star Lord. You know, um, those are those are decisions that are a little bit more creative. Those are actors that you wouldn't think of for a superhero role. Um. Uh. <laughs> this is not a very good topic. Um. It, there are also, okay, there are actors that they'll get that haven't really been in anything. Tom Holland, Elizabeth Olsen to an extent. I mean, okay, they've been in things. You know, Tom Holland was in one of the, the Tsunami movie. But now they just are these characters. I would say Brie Larson not because she was in Room, which was a big movie. Uh, even though she probably... No, she's still just Brie Larson. She's not that character. Um, Tom Holland, though, he's Spider-Man now. That's what he is now. That's the role that defines him now. Um, I guess. And, I don't know. I guess it's it's weird seeing these actors... It, it's weird these actors doing other things now, and it's like... Um... I don't know, because you have to, like, build your, like, I don't think that a superhero movie is, is like, the, the top role you can get, but it is kind of framed that way, so then when you start with that, like Tom Holland does, did with his career, kind of, more or less, um, I don't know, it's just, it's like, where do you go from there? I think Daniel Radcliffe is a good example of that. But his career has been really good and interesting because of that. I don't know what my point was there at the end. This is weird. 